Good morning. I I'm breaking Old Testament law this morning. This shirt, it's a cotton polyester blend. The Old Testament says that you must not blend cotton and linen together. You can wear a linen shirt, well, a tunic. You could wear a cotton frock, but you cannot wear a cotton linen blend. I don't really know why, <clears throat> but if you if you think about it, am I actually breaking Old Testament law? The Old Testament says nothing about polyester, so you're not allowed to mix cotton and linen. But maybe you can mix cotton and polyester, cotton and rayon, elastane, lycra. Maybe you could mix all those things because the Old Testament doesn't talk about them. So I am, I am, am not breaking Old Testament law this morning by wearing this cotton polyester blend. But it did make me think about how there are many laws in the Old Testament that we no longer follow. Laws that seem strange, that maybe even are barbaric. We just would not be able to abide by those laws by our modern standards. And as Christians, um, 20th century Christians, perhaps 19th century Christians, we have found a way to reconcile our faith in the Bible with our common sense, our modern sensibilities perhaps about law and customs by saying, oh, some Old Testament laws are religious, some are ceremonial, and some are civil, some are moral. So we'll follow the civil laws and the moral laws. We won't follow the religious and ceremonial laws. But the thing is that I have never seen Moses say, these are ceremonial, these are religious, and these are civil. He just gave the law. And Paul, the apostle, says, you have to follow the whole law. If you break any of the law, you've broken all the law. But we have people today accusing the new generation, as the old generation always accuses the new generation, of choosing, picking, and mixing what they want to believe into a new syncretistic religion. When the fact is, every generation does that. There's no getting around it. You cannot continue a 6,000-year-old tradition without making some adapt to it. The question only then remains, uh, how much can we adapt? What can we change without changing the crux of the matter, without changing the root of the belief? Well, who's the root of David? It is Christ. Look to Christ.